So there's nothing to it but to do it. And that's how I'm going to start this ASMR video. Um, first of all, a, a few things that have been going on on YouTube have been uh, my prompting for doing this video. Um, I first of all want to talk about some problems that I've been having and one of them is procrastination. I have been putting off making videos for so long that it is really becoming like apparent to myself that I'm not even going to make any videos. So that's why I'm sitting down right now and I'm filming this video. And um, I want to start with um, a video that I seen yesterday by ASMR Slay. I have recently been told that um, because my moon sign is in Virgo, um, I have an ability that if I exercise it, I will get better at it, and that is writing uh, intuitively or um, having insight come to me through writing. Like sometimes I'll write something down and it'll be like a journal entry and then I'll go back to it a couple days later and I'm like, whoa, I can't even believe I wrote that. Like it doesn't seem like something I would say. So I believe that is it, this is an, a higher power working through me. So whether you believe in that or not is totally up to you. But I just want to encourage ASMR Slay with some positive words of affirmation. Um, I, I jotted it down, so I will be reading from my notebook here. And I first of all want to say that your past does not define you. You are not what happened to you. Things were not in your control or your understanding. Processing and overcoming make you who you are. You deserve your best quality of life. You deserve to give yourself a break and give time, time. You are beautiful inside and out. People and circumstances will seem to suck the good right out of you. But it's important to be rooted and driven by truth. You are a blessing to many and you deserve happiness and peace of mind. True contentment happens in this very moment. Stay positive and grounded. Our minds are like sponges absorbing what we submit ourselves to. Also like vines spreading and attaching to all we can. Hence why it is important to be, why it is important when you're in a vulnerable moment to be surrounded by good, positive people and in a safe environment. I'm thinking it would benefit you to attend a self-help group and be honest. It's important for you to know that you are never alone and it's vital that your heart and mind are closely connected. What we feel and what we know are sometimes not the same. It's what we do with the negative feelings creeping in. Our feelings are valid but ever-changing. Don't be driven by how you feel. Be driven by what you know. And I also want to add to that, that we teach people how to treat us by what we tolerate. I'm a very firm believer in that. If we keep putting up with the same thing, we're going to keep getting the same result. We have to be the change that we want to see. We have to take initiative. We can control ourselves, and we cannot control anyone or anything else. So... Secondly, I want to address, um, as told by Kenya, I'm sure that she could care less about this video, she'll probably never see it, but she received a shout out on Holly Scoop, and the reason it bothers me is that they were co-signing her behavior. Whether it's true or not, it's her opinion, and it was tearing down another woman. Poor behavior to be highlighted in my opinion. She has strong negative vibes toward mainly white people and lighter skinned people. 
She has several videos in which she attacks or drags other YouTubers, in which she attacks or drags the YouTubers for racism, blackism, colorism, yet by her content seems racist. She lifts up women that look like her, and that's it. Even excusing them for doing way more than the ones that don't look like her, she's dragging and saying the meanest things about. If you want examples, let me know in the comments, and I've got some jotted down throughout my notebook, and um, I've watched plenty of her videos. Um, sometimes I've agreed with her, and sometimes it's just fun to watch her rant, honestly. But the content that she made about Rich Lux really rubbed me the wrong way. Um, the last thing I want to address is the recent Trisha Paytas videos. I want to tell Trisha that no matter what, Believe in yourself, or no one else will. Love yourself. Accept yourself 100%. Beauty and imperfections, flaws and all. A flaw is still a part of you. So be true to yourself. If you can't love yourself and accept yourself, it won't be possible for you to accept love from anyone else. And you deserve love, and you are loved. It's okay to not be okay. There does not always have to be controversy. You deserve to relax, relax, and enjoy your best life. Anyone's inability to see your worth does not decrease your value. And I mean that with my whole heart. Um, I also want to talk about how I stay in the moment and how I take things one day at a time. Um, I watch a few shows, and on the sh during the shows I watch, I take notes on them. That way, I know that I'm staying in the moment. I know that I'm paying attention, that I'm right there, present, watching that very TV show. I just finished watching and taking notes on the newest 911 episode. I love that show. Um, I also watch The Real Housewives of Dallas, and I watch The Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, I also journal. Um, journaling helps. I have several, several journal notebooks. Like, I don't just keep one journal because no matter where I am or what I'm doing, I want to have a paper and pen in front of me and I want to jot down my feelings and I want to immediately try to process 